We're not going to be given anything. And do you want to be given this? You want to earn it, right? Do you want to be given anything? You want to earn it, right? But I don't see that. I see frustration. Let me tell you something. Not about crying right now. We didn't earn that tonight. We didn't earn a victory tonight. How you're going to be remembered is if this team wins. I'm going to tell you this story. The only reason why I tell you this is because I don't want us to wait too long before we come together. And I think yesterday was a start. The speeches, I mean, it started off as just trying to get the, the players not to think about the game for the next couple minutes. Some of them are nervous, some of them, you know, are, are just thinking about, you know, how they're going to play or if they're going to get in the game. So I just tell them something so they can kind of just, for one or two minutes, just forget about what's going on and just listen to what, uh, what I got to say. Last thing I'm going to say is a poem. It says, when things go wrong as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile but you have to sigh. I don't like to directly tell them, you did this, you did that. So I, I like to tell them some way indirectly where they know that I'm talking to them or the whole team. Uh, most times I, I like to address the whole team and, and try to tell them what I want without really telling them I want everyone to do this. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must but don't you quit. Life is strange with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. I've been hearing Coach Marino's speeches since my sophomore year and every time before a game it's just great to hear what he has to say. I look forward to listening to what he has to say. And many a person turns about when they might have won had they stuck it out. Don't give up though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Coach Marino's stories, one day you never know what it's gonna be. One day it'll be happy, one day it'll be sad. But they find her, and they find her dead. It's always suspenseful because he uses his hands and you know, he really keeps you into it. Success is failure inside out. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem worse that you mustn't quit. Whether it's funny or scary or he has all kinds of stories that are just interesting and how he relates them to basketball just amazes me. And I always tell you fellas, I don't care what happens at the end. I just care that at the end of the game, how you guys play during the game. Win or lose, fellas. You guys play hard tonight, you guys play for each other. The end result will be success. Mostly we're going to be waiting for a while now because there's a spill up in the roof right now. And I mean, we just got to wait it out right now. And once uh, we get this thing cleaned up, we're going to go to work. I really don't want to comment right now. Because A, we've had a good two practices to prepare for this game. And we're going to win. We were going to win no matter what. Play or not, we were going to win. I'll even tell Hertz to drive to Coral Springs Gymnasium to go play this game. Because that's how bad I want to play. That's it. So we're not going to play here tonight. You don't control the rain, the leaks. They say it's the first time it's ever happened in this gym. It's not our gym, so we'll deal with it. We are going to play this exact same time at this exact same place on Thursday. So today's Tuesday, 48 hours from now, the JV will kick butt here and then the varsity will do the same thing. The only thing it does for us is we play Thursday and Friday instead of Tuesday and Friday. Came out kind of hot in the third quarter and we tried to push the ball, you know, to extend our lead. And then later towards, on, towards the end of the game, and then we stopped kind of rebounding and they took advantage and went on a run. I was kind of going crazy at that point, panicking a little bit, but you know, we're supposed to keep our cool. I was like, all we gotta do is just get the inbound. It was a big relief because the Coast Springs Charter, you know, we, they say we're supposed to beat them by a lot, and they're not a really good team, but. You know, we stuck it out, we win the game. But here's why the people at Pinecrest have made the bigger game. 74, 71 on December the 1st. One, two, three, five. Brandon Knight has returned to the number one rated sophomore in the country. He was forced to miss the first part of the season due to surgery to remove a cyst in his back. But since he has returned, he has led his team on a nine game winning streak. Brandon Knight, he's like the key to the offense. I mean, he's like, I mean, the heart of their team.
came out from the jump. I came out from the start. I mean, I came out strong, you know, hitting threes. And he came, he came back at me, you know. Wheeler back up top to Boynton. Boynton pulls up NBA range. Got it again, so four threes in the first quarter for Kenny Boynton. He has 14, and they're back within four. Now Knight, deep three of his own, right back at you. Back to back deep threes, and now Boynton is rolling around on the ground. It was a real physical game. Without Eloy, we didn't rebound as well. But we fought hard and we tried. Fellas, first off, down six. All right? Not terrible, but the problem is I don't want to be down six, I want to be up six. So let's fix some stuff. By the way, you got prettier with that China down there, so don't worry about it. All right, but stop getting pushed around in there. They got three guys crashing, and we're just moving out of their way. We came out a little bit slow in the third quarter again. It's kind of starting to turn into a trend, but we got to stop it. We came out kind of um, slow in the third quarter after halftime, and in the fourth quarter we tried to pick it up, but it was like kind of too late. Big win for Pinecrest as they will draw even for first place in the district. Both teams seven and one now. I mean, I think coming into the game, we were expected to lose, but if we would have won, I mean, they would have we knocked all the heart out of them. But I think next time we know how, how good we could do without Ray and Elo, I think with Ray and Elo, we'll definitely beat them.